Texas F's have leaned on two of their returning starters in Ethan Ringenberger and Jack Cucker to guide a bit of an inexperienced group for Whitehall this season. Cucker could not be stopped early on in Tuesday's match against the Spartans. He rattled off six kills on ten attempts just in the first set alone. The off-speed kill for the junior giving Whitehall its largest advantage in the opening set at 22-13. They'll take it handily 25-14 going up one set to none. Southern Lehigh responding nicely in the second, hopping out to a 7-5 lead. Hanson fun with the denial at the net for the two-point Spartan advantage. The ace from Cucker will put Whitehall back in front 10-9. Zeph's up by as much as eight before Spartans made things interesting. An ace from Trey West trimming the deficit to just one. Home team finishes strong though, taking the second 25-20 on the block from Aiden Parvell. Whitehall up, now two sets to none. However, never down and out were the Spartans. With Whitehall leading for the majority of the third, the visitors flipped the script. It's West tying us up at 20 apiece with one of his 17 kills. Just too hot to handle from the senior. Fawn then finishes the set with back-to-back -back points. The block will claim the third for the blue and white, winning the set 25-23. Spartans still finding themselves trailing in the fourth, down by as much as eight. But once again, Southern will finish the set strong, this time using an 8-0 run to turn a five-point deficit to a three-point victory. We're all tied up now at two sets apiece. Now with all the momentum heading into the final set, the visitors go up 7-1 early. Ringenberger able to bring it to within one for the Zephs. He finishes with a match high, 23 kills on the night. But it's the visitors who come away with the win, 15 to 10 the score in the final set. When going down 2-0, we were kind of down on ourselves, but you know, we just kind of stayed together, you know, focused on playing defense. I mean, they have a great outside hitter. He was killing us in the first few sets, but we were able to slow him down. And uh, once we did that, we started, you know, getting our offense going. And then once that happened, we were able to capitalize. We started picking things up in the third, and then down 18-10 in the third, we're able to bring it back. So it took a lot. I mean, we picked it up and we were able to beat him in the fifth. So It was a 7-1 to one advantage for the Spartans in the fifth and final set. A start and energy that head coach Don West Jr. hopes to see from his team even more so as this season progresses. It's a race to five and we, we lost the early games because we spotted them leads and our heads went down. You can see it in our faces. I kept saying to him, once we get a lead, we play with a little arrogance and, and cockiness, and that's what I need them to play. They know how to play the game. They just have to have that energy all the time. In Whitehall, I'm Cassie Schmidt reporting for the SC Network.